Hello, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to play a media file located in the internal SD card of the device. So first we have to place a media file into the internal SD card of the device. So here I am going to place a media file, it's an mp3 file, into the internal SD card of my Android device. So copy this file and this is my device. Open the internal SD card of the device and paste the media file into this device. Yeah, now the file is available in the internal SD card of my Android device. Now we have to create a project in Android Studio. So whenever user click the play button, play music button, we have to play the music file from the internal SD card of this device. Okay, go to the main activity.java file. First we have to declare the needed objects. So first we need an object of media player. I name it as media player. This is the on click method of the button. So first we have to initialize the media player object equal to new media player. Okay. The file name is demo media. This is the mp3 file now available on the internal SD card. So here I am going to declare a string variable string media path equal to it is located in the SD card so SD card slash file name media file name is demo media dot mp3 ok now we have to set some parameters for the media player. So media player dot set audio stream type. Set the audio stream type into audio manager dot stream music. Now we have to set the data source for the media player. So for setting the data source for the media player, we have to declare an object of URI. So URI. I name the object as URI equal to URI dot pass and specify the path. Here I save the path in the string variable media path. So use that variable media path. Okay. Now we can assign the data source for the media player. So media player dot set data source. First argument is a context context object. So here I use the method get application context. Now you have to specify the URI object. Okay. Here you need to insert it in a try catch block. So surround it with the try catch block. Okay. So before going to start the media player, you have to prepare the media player. So the media player will load the music from the SD card and it will store the media file into the buffer area of the media player. So you have to call the method called media player dot prepare. This will this will perform the needed buffering operations. And after performing after completing all the buffering operations, we have to start the media player. So media player dot start and display a message using toast get application context play bike started and specify the duration of the toast toast dot make it into long and make the toast visible okay after playing the music so while playing the music we have to disable the button so bn dot set enabled into false okay 
After finishing the playback, we have to enable the button again. So we have to use the method media player dot on completion listener. So this method will invoke whenever the playback is playback is finished. So here we have to enable the button. So bn dot set enabled into true. So after finishing the playback, we have to release all the resources used by the media player. So media player media player call the method called release. This method will release all the resources used by the media player. And we have to assign, we have to reset the media player object using null. Also display a message using toast. Playback finished. Okay. So in this project, we read the file from the internal SD card of the device. So we have to specify the needed permissions on the Android manifest file. So open your Android manifest file and specify the needed permissions. So user's permission. Yeah, this one. Android permission read from external storage. Okay. Now we can run the application. So now I connect my real device into the com into this computer. Now I am going to run the application. Okay, now the application is available on my real Android device. Now I am going to play the music. So I click the play button. Hello, welcome to this demo MP3. Now this MP3 is played from the SD card. Please subscribe to this channel for getting more video updates on your YouTube homepage as well as on your email. Thank you for listening to this MP3. Yeah, after finishing the playback, we again enable the play button. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next episode.